Okay, starting with an equation. What is equation? Any statement containing the sign of equality is known as equation. Coming to the linear equation. Equation with degree 1 is called linear equation. What is degree? The maximum power of the variable. The maximum power of the variable here is 1. So this is called linear equation. What is quadratic equation? The equation of degree 2 is called quadratic equation. What is degree the maximum power? Maximum power is 2 here. So this is a quadratic equation. Now, we have several cases in solving the simultaneous equations. Case number 1 is if one equation is linear, we will always has, have two equations in, when we are given solve simultaneous equations. It means we have two equations. If one equation is linear, and one is quadratic so how to solve we have two equations one is linear means the maximum power is one or the degree is one one is quadratic means the maximum degree is two we have two equations one is linear one is quadratic now how to solve the simultaneous equations when one is linear and one is quadratic what we are going to do is we are going to take the value of x or y from linear equation and substitute in quadratic equation. So what we will do, we will take the value of either x or y from the linear equation. For example, this is our linear equation. So I will take the value of x which is equal to y minus 5. And I will substitute this value in the quadratic equation. This is the way in which we solve when we have two equations in which from one, one is linear and one is quadratic. Now, if I have two equations in case number 2, it's a, if I have both the equations, quadratic it means both equations are of degree 2 so what we're going to do is make x y coefficient same so we will make the coefficient of x and y same and then we are going to subtract it or add it so that we can remove the x part or y part from the equation x square part and or y square part from the equation and we will get the results so now let's start solving the questions and we will discuss question number one is x plus y is equal to five and x square minus two y square is equal to 14. okay now I have two equations. Let's name them A and B. Okay. So now I have this is the linear equation. And this is the quadratic equation. Now the rule is I have to take out the value from linear. So x plus y is equal to 5. I have to get the value of x from the linear. Or I can get the value of y from the linear. Any one value. x is equal to 5 minus y. Now I will put it in the equation B, that is quadratic equation. It is x square minus 2y square is equal to 14. So what am I going to do is, I will put the value of x, what is x is equal to 5 minus y. So this is x, I will put 5 minus y and this is square, so I will put square minus 2y square which is equal to 14. So this is how we solve when we have two equations, one is linear and one is quadratic. We will check the linear equation, find the value of x or y from the linear equation, put it in the or substitute it in the quadratic equation. Okay, we are going to substitute x is equal to 5 minus y in equation b and we will get this. Now, always remember the two formulas a minus b whole square which is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square 
a plus b whole square which is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square so now following this formula this is a minus b whole square this one formula is applicable so it's a square means 5 square minus b square means 5 square minus 2 a and b 5 and y minus 2 y square which is equal to 40 so it's 25 minus y square minus 10 y minus 2 y square plus 14 is going to come over here and it would be minus 14 which is equal to 0 so now we will make additions and subtractions it's y square adds in the y square minus y square and minus 2 y square is minus 3 y square minus 10 y minus 10 y and then 25 minus 14 so plus 25 minus 14 plus 11 which is equal to 0 so I have minus 3 y square minus 10 y plus 11 which is equal to 0 okay so now can I do the factorization and and get the value of y so there is a slight mistake it's plus y square here plus y square and minus 2 y plus 1 y is minus y square mm -hmm. so now we have 11 so factorization is minus for 11 it's 11 times 1 is 11 so we need minus 10 so what we're going to do is minus y square minus 11 y plus 1 y we are doing middle term breaking over here so minus 11 plus 1 is minus 10 and 11 times 1 is minus 11 so at this step you can either do factorization or completing square method or quadratic when you can use any method so taking minus y common from here i will get y minus minus plus 11 and taking one common i will get 11 y plus 11 which is equal to 0 so it's y plus 11 and minus y plus 1 which is equal to 0 when we have two brackets equal to 0 we can write them separately equal to 0 like this so it's going to be so y is going to be equal to 1 so we, we have got two values of y now we can find the value of x by putting them in or substituting them in going in a so from equation a equation a says x plus y is equal to 5 this is equation a and it says x plus y is equal to 5 now putting the value y is equal to now then y is equal to minus 11 so x minus 11 is equal to 5 x is equal to 5 plus 11 which is equal to 16 so now when y is equal to 1, x plus 1 is equal to 5, x is equal to 5 minus 1 which is equal to 4. So now I have values of x and y both. I have x4 when y is 1. I have x16 when y is minus 11. So this is the for the solution set I have 4 1 16 minus 11 now I can also check the question if I have done the correct I have done it correct or not check taking equation a x plus y which is equal to 5 now put what is x here 4 plus 1 which is equal to 5 5 is equal to 5 so this solution is correct checking the next solution at 16 minus 11 should be equal to 5 is equal to 5 so both of our solutions are correct what we are going to do you are going to put this solution this is x and this is y in our any equation either equation a or equation b and if you will get left hand side equal to the right hand side it means your answer is correct if you will not get left hand side equal to right hand side, it means your answer is not correct.